Welcome everybody. Today I want to talk about how to write research paper or report. Doesn't matter. The basic that I'm going to tell you is for writing paper for international conference, journals, or for your university, or even for your work. All of them have the same basic chart that you have to know it. So I'm going to go step by step and I'm going to describe it very clearly. The research paper, of course, it has a title, which is, of course, obvious, which is a name that you are going to choose for your work. And then you have the abstract. If I want to tell you what's abstract very quickly and shortly, abstract is a one or two paragraph that you describe your work. If someone does not like to read whole of your paper, he or she is going to read just the abstract very quickly. And if they are interested, they are going to go and read your paper. Then we are going to go to introduction. Introduction generally shows the trend of your work. For example, I'm going to give you an example with iPhone because it's a thing that everyone knows. It doesn't matter if you are engineering, if you are electrical engineering, um, mechanical, or if you are from the other major, I don't know, psychology or anything, you have a good idea about it. Of course, you are not going to write a paper about commercial things. But imagine that you write a paper about next generation of iPhone. Right now we have iPhone 11. It's the last version of iPhone. So in your abstract, you start to talk about what's the trend of iPhone. For example, you tell, start from iPhone 7, and then you describe it. For example, we have iPhone 7, and then it comes iPhone 8. Camera becomes better. The screen is become bigger. And, and you show the trend until you go to the iPhone 11, which is the last version that you know. If your work is very new and you do not have a lot of previous work that has been done in this area, you are going to describe it. Again, I'm going to explain with iPhone. For example, imagine that iPhone 11 is very new and there is no any iPhone before it. So you are going to tell that iPhone is a kind of a smartphone, it's touch a screen, it has, for example, this camera, it can record a video with this quality, with this resolution, and you describe the whole thing about iPhone. And at the end of the introduction, there's a specific paragraph that you just talk about your work and nothing else. After introduction, we have a part which named as result and discussion or description, which is you only talk about your work and what you design, what you fabricate. For example, uh, if I'm going to show you some papers, they bring the formula that they use, they bring the fabrication that they did, they bring the measurements that they do. They only just uh, talk about the study that they did in the paper. They are, you are not going to talk about any previous work or anything else. And there is the conclusion. If I want to tell you what's conclusion very clearly and shortly, conclusion is that what did you do in your paper in one or two paragraphs? Because in the result and discussion, you are not going to talk um, only about uh, what you achieved. Sometimes you talk about your simulation and the measurement that you do the difference between them or for example the difference between simulation and the formula that you use or something else it's related in your paper and you talk three four pages about it but in the conclusion you only talk about it for example you tell that you design the wider screen with better resolution or you tell that i improve the touch screen of it i add 3d touch screen to the iphone of, of course it's not gonna work for the paper I'm gonna example the iPhone because everyone knows and can feel it how does it work and at the end there is a references based on my experience I think um, at least 6 until uh, 15 reference is fine it's totally fine uh, some people said that um, if you have a lot of reference in your paper your uh, paper would be very good um, no generally doesn't work like this if you have 10 very high impact factor paper as a reference, um, it is enough for your paper. And generally not adding a lot of references in your paper means that your work is very good. 
or if your work does not have a lot of references, doesn't mean that you did a bad job. So for the reference, you have to consider it that if you bring any references at the end of your paper, you have to mention in your paper text the references. For example, in your introduction, you tell that uh, the iPhone 8 has um, a smaller screen compared to, I don't know, iPhone 11. And you bring in the paragraph, for example, a reference that shows the website that describes the iPhone 11 screen details. And of course, it does not work for paper, so you are not going to reference a lot of website, but you, you understand what I'm talking about. And why is it important that you bring um, a good references? For example, in your paper, you said that iPhone 8 has a 4.7 inch um, screen, touch screen. And someone is going to say that, no, iPhone 8 doesn't have this screen. And when you make it as a reference, then no one can ignore the things that you talk in your introduction or in your paper because you bring uh, powerful references. But if you say that iPhone 8 has uh, 4.7 screen and you are not going to bring any references, for example, someone says that no, it doesn't have it. So you understand that um, if you bring uh, references, the thing that you are going to say in your paper, it's more powerful, especially when you are comparing your work with the previous work. And the better your references, the higher impact factor in your references. The way that you talk in your paper is more powerful. So that's it. Yes, I know there's a lot of um, videos on the YouTube people make it very complex. The reality is that writing paper has a just simple basic chart. Um, I think one of the reasons is that maybe they do not have a good experience with writing paper or they just watched previous YouTube video. I know exactly what I'm talking about. All of my talking is came from the experience. I, I didn't watch any YouTube video for making that one. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please make a comment. Uh, what do you want that I talk more about it? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because if you don't do it, we lose the connection between me and you. And in the future, I'm going to talk more about how to write a paper and how to make it simple. And I'm going to show the trick about writing paper for you. Thanks for watching.